take a look at the mansion at Mount Vernon, home of our first president, General George Washington. He actually inherited it from an older half-brother, and then he spent several years expanding it to its current state of grandeur. This is the war for Washington's Mount Vernon estate meets the Potomac River. From the mansion's hilltop view, you get to overlook this wonderful view. Now, they do take pains to make everything be like it was back then, but I think we found one thing that's not original to Mount Vernon, the color TV that you can watch this presentation on. Washington designed for revolutionary processing of Washington fancied himself a farmer, and he actually pioneered a lot of the techniques when it came to crop rotation. Not only that, he also had a flour mill and a distillery, and this 16-sided barn is where he had a unique way of having the horses separate the wheat from the chaff. The grain was packed in bags or barrels and loaded onto a wagon. It was then delivered to Washington's gristmill where it was ground into flour between two huge stones which were powered by the movement of a water wheel. This is the tomb where General Washington, his wife Martha, and other family members are laid to rest. We're about to take part in a wreath laying ceremony in their honor. This gentleman will lead us in our uh, General Washington's prayer for his country. I now make it my earnest prayer that God would have the United States in His holy protection, that He would incline the laws of the to all the days of the year, to the and the obedience to the to entertain a worldly affection and a love for one another, for their fellowships in the United States I love, and particularly for their language to us for the and finally, and you will create a Thank you. 